I'm 19 years old and fresh out of college when I get my first machinist position. They placed me in the lathe department to train on our two and three axis lathes, where most of the programming was done at the machine with straight G-code. And this place wasn't like some big shops where you have a programmer, a setup guy, and an operator. Here you were all three. If you couldn't set up, program, and run all on your own, then you were not going to make it as a machinist at this shop. So you can imagine how petrified I was when the guy training me dropped me in front of a three axis lay and said, we need you to run these parts on this machine. Here's a drawing, right over there's your material. You got four hours to machine these or we lose money. And then he just walks away. The material was 10 inch diameter A2 tool steel and the part had to be turned, heat treated, and then hard turned. Now keep in mind at this time, I didn't even know you could machine something after it had been heat treated. I'd never heard of hard turning. I look up at the lay and just let me tell you, it's easy to point out mistakes and catch all the little things someone else does whenever you're watching from the sidelines and you don't have any skin in the game. But whenever you're the one that's put on the spot and you're staring at a blank screen or a blank piece of paper, it can be a humbling experience. I was completely lost looking at this machine. I mean, all the tools were even upside down. None of it made any sense. All I could think about was if I just leave and don't come back, then I could save myself some embarrassment because it was sink or swim time and I was about to sink like a rock. But I collected myself and thought, what's the worst that could happen? I'm probably going to get fired, but at least I can say I tried. So I start setting the job up and the whole time I'm thinking that I'm getting slapped in the face with a reality check because this must be what the real world is like because I thought on the job training was going to go completely different. I was expecting someone to hold my hand all the way through this process and instead here I am completely on my own. I was so confused at why they were setting me up to fail. The guy training me would walk by and check things out every now and then but wouldn't offer any advice. I got it all set up, wrote the program the best I could, and I was feeling pretty good about myself at this point, so I go over to the guy training me and I asked him to look it over real quick before I ran it. He walks over and immediately turns to me and says, well, it looks good, but too bad it ain't gonna work. And just like that, I went from having my hand on my hip, chest stuck out like Superman, to being deflated like a balloon. He said, your setup is all wrong. You've got drills and boring bars right next to turning tools, and as soon as you hit cycle start, this thing's going to crash. I was so dang mad that I was just now finding this out, because he let me set up this entire job, and he walked over several times and watched me set up all these tools, knowing the whole time that it wasn't going to work, and he never said a word. But it turns out I wasn't on my own the whole time. They wasn't trying to set me up to fail. He knew I was going to fail, and he wanted me to make the mistakes myself so I experienced them firsthand rather than him just give me all the answers up front. Because he knew that he could tell me every little detail, but it wasn't going to stick until I experienced it for myself, and I would just end up asking the same questions over and over, taking up more time in the long run. He took this approach with everything he taught me, he forced me to figure things out on my own and only come to him with questions when I have ran out of my own ideas. He did this so I would learn to think for myself rather than just raise my hand as soon as there was an issue. He was a great mentor to me for two years until he broke the news that he was leaving the company. And I remember being scared to death because if he left, then that was going to leave me to run the entire lathe department by myself. I begged him not to leave. I remember telling him, if you leave, then I will for sure get fired because I'm not qualified to run these machines by myself. I still ask you questions every day. I need you here. I can't do this on my own. But he had one more lesson to teach me. He looked at me and he said, me leaving is going to be the best thing that ever happened to you because as long as I'm here, I will just be your crutch. He said, you know a lot more than you think you do. You just haven't allowed yourself to have the confidence to run on your own because you've always had me to look over your shoulder. And by me leaving, that is going to force you to take ownership and build confidence in yourself. And that's the beginning of becoming a great machinist. In that moment, nobody in the world could have convinced me that what he was telling me was true. But after he left, that is exactly what happened. 
It doesn't matter if you're at the beginning of your journey or near the end. Whenever we can't see a clear path in front of us, then just having the courage and confidence to keep moving forward can often be the most difficult thing to overcome. Just remember what my mentor once told me. You know more than you think you know. Don't let fear tell you otherwise. Believe in yourself and use mistakes as an instrument for improvement. Thank y'all for watching and we'll see y'all next time.